Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the fourth part of the series. And in the last part, we get the URI for the image, which we choose from our gallery, but didn't upload that to the Firebase storage. So in this part, we will upload that image to the storage and also add name, phone number and address to the Firebase Firestore database. So let's start with this project. So let's set an on-click listener for complete button. When a user click on this button, we will store the edit text value to string and so a progress dialog. Then we add a if statement where it checks if the fields are empty or not. If empty then we show the stores. Now let's add Firebase reference to this activity. Now let's compress this image using this code. Now we will upload the compressed image to the firewall storage using this image path. Okay. Under the on complete, 
we check that if the task is successful or not if not we show an error for the image upload and if successful then we send those data to a new method Now in this method, we first get the link for the image which we store in the storage. After that, we need to create a hash map. And in this hash map, we will pass all the data. And now we can store this in Firebase. So here we create a collection name as user. Under that we create the documents which can be named as user ID which can be unique every time. And then we set the data for document using the hasmap data. Then we call the oncomplete listener. Under the oncomplete we will check that if the task is successful or not. If not we will show the error message. Otherwise send the user to the main activity and dismiss the progress dial. Okay, let's run this application and see and see is it working or not. As you can see, it's showing an error in image upload. So if you get this kind of error, then open your Firebase and open storage. Here enable storage and set the rules like this. And then open database and create the cloud database. And now let's try to store the data again. That's it, it's done storing the data. And here in Firebase you can see it's storing the data. 
So thanks for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, then give it a like, share this video with your friends, and I will come back with the next part where we can retrieve all the data which we stored in the file store.